Hello everyone and welcome back. In our last tutorial, we had seen how to add the box model of uh, our box object in our RVs planning scene using a Python script. In our today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to add similar box in the gazebo planning scene because the script for RVs will not add any uh, object in the uh, gazebo planning scene. So today as well, to add the box model in the uh, gazebo environment, we are going to use the Python script. So first of all, we will create a Python script. So as you can see here in my one terminal, the ROS master is running. In the second terminal, my simulation is running using the uh, launch file that we had created uh, using Movit Setup Assistant. And here I have executed my script to add the uh, boxes in the RVs planning scene. So if you uh, want to know how we have launched this simulation and how we have created this file, please watch my previous tutorial. Now to create the Python file to add the uh, box in Gazebo, we will create a new terminal. Now in this terminal, we need to go to our uh, catkin workspace. So type the command cd the home symbol slash your catkin workspace name then the src folder of your catkin workspace then the move it manipulator package name and the scripts folder name and then press enter. Now we are in the scripts folder of our move it manipulator package. Now to create a new python file type the command gedit node underscore spawn underscore box underscore models underscore in underscore gazebo dot py and press enter. So it will create a blank python file here. So for the code of this python file I will give the uh, link uh, to the code in the video description. So you can use that link and you will come to this page. You can copy this file code from this uh, copy uh, raw file command and again go to that blank python file and press the code here and press the save button. Now I will quickly explain this. So first of all we add here the python3 uh, shebang. Here we import the rospy library then we import the uh, from the uh, gazebo msg.service file we import the spawn model messages the spawn model request and spawn model uh, response messages and then we import this uh, deep copy uh, from the copy library and we also import this quaternion from Euler from TF transformation library. Then here we have the uh, definition of the SDF model for our cube. So SDF is also a modeling language similar to the URDF file but there is a slight change in its uh, syntax. So if you want to know more about SDF you can visit this link. I will not explain everything in this tutorial. Again, if we come to bottom here, you will find a, a definition of a function create cube request. This uh, function takes the SDF uh, model, which is the uh, XML uh, SDF model, which we defined here. Then the uh, model name, which will be the uh, name of our box. Then the position arguments, the position X, Y, and Z. Then the role pitch your values and the size of the box, SX, XY, SZ. Then here, uh, we create a deep copy of the XML model, uh, the SDF model we have uh, passed here in the cube object. Then here uh, we create the size string using this uh, function where we add our uh, this SX, SY and SZ values. Then uh, in the cube, uh, the XML file, we replace this size XY value which is uh, defined uh, here with the actual size string that we have created here. Then we replace the uh, model name with the uh, model name that we had passed to this function. So this model name is also defined uh, here. So you can see the model name here. So it will be the name of our box. Then here we create a request which will be from the spawn model request. We have uh, above imported the library for uh, spawning the models. Uh, then we add the uh, model name, the model XML, the uh, position arguments to this request. And we also add the role pitch here in the request. Then we return the request. So this was this uh, create cube request function. Then in the main function, we define or initialize a node spawn box models. Then here we uh, create a service client from the service gazebo slash uh, spawn underscore SDF underscore model. And here we give the uh, service uh, message spawn model as an input. Then we wait for the service uh, to get uh, activated and 
once the service is available we uh, log the info like the service connected to the service then here uh, we uh, define a request variable and here we call the uh, function create cube request so this function we pass the uh, cube sdf model which is uh, defined here then we pass the name that we want to give to that box model then we pass the position the uh, rotation value and the size values and once the request is created we call the ever service and we pass the request that we have created above then we stop the code for one second and the code will exit so this is how this code works now let's close this code now open the terminal and type the ls command so here you can see this new python file is got created but it is not yet executable so to make it executable type the command sudo chmod plus x and the file name node spawn models uh, in gazebo uh, spawn box models in gazebo.py and press enter and type your linux password now again if you uh, press the or enter the ls command you will see the file name is green which means it is now executable now type the uh, command cd a home symbol and your move it workspace name so that you will be in your uh, catkin workspace now to execute this python file so before we execute this python file uh, take your gazebo windows uh, in the front and then uh, the terminal now type the command source devil slash setup dot bash to execute the source file of our catkin workspace now to run the python script that we have created type the command ros run your movit uh, manipulator package name and your python file name and press enter so you can see the script is now executed and a box is added in our gazebo environment here so now uh, if you uh, come here in this uh, models here you will find we have the ground plane then our robot arm urdf and here you will find this package one which we have recently added here so the uh, for your information the box model in rv's environment and the box model in the gazebo environment they are both different there is no connection uh, between them so uh, though we uh, try to attach this box to our rv's uh, model using our previous python script that is running here this box will not attach to our uh, gazebo robotic arm the robotic arm in our gazebo environment so for that we need to have write a different python function because to attach the objects to the uh, gazebo environment models are different the one here in arvis is used for the planning uh, the uh, navigation planning and this one is just for the simulation so uh, in this tutorial we are only going to see how to spawn the model boxes in the uh, gazebo environment in our next tutorial we will see how to attach this box to our uh, robotics arms end effector in gazebo as well